<laughs> Ignore me. Ignore me. I'm all the way over here. You can't even see me. Shh. Just, just stay quiet. Just stay. No. Okay. Yeah. Fly at me. Yes. <laughs> okay. I. <laughs> So at first I thought this was Puss Moth, which I was like, that's disgusting. But now I see that it's Puss Moth, which... <laughs> Surprisingly fluffy Puss Moth. I... <laughs> Filthy. Hello everyone, and welcome back for part five of our Coral Island Let's Play. How are you doing today? I hope that you're doing well. Um, I'm doing... I'm doing pretty good. Um, the weather here is starting to get pretty hot. We are booking our way straight through spring and right into summer as we are in the game as well. Um, as of recording right now, I don't think we have an official release date for the summer update yet. It says 14 hours in the corner. For a long time it said zero days, I think. So I don't know how accurate any of that is, but, um, but I'm hoping that maybe the summer update will coincide with um, right as we about reach summer. Because I think that would be kind of cool. I'm looking forward to a lot of the things that are coming up uh, in that update. So anyways, I have nothing else that I need to cover right now other than to say thank you so much for being here again as always. Um, if you enjoy this video, please remember to like it. Um, and if you've been enjoying this series in general, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out to know that you are here, that you like this, and that you want me to keep going with it. I've been having a blast making these videos and so I intend to keep going. But having your feedback and your support really makes that decision even easier. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the game. Okay, a few dailies to take care of. Oh, look, my flowers are coming up. Nice. I don't even remember somebody asked about us planting those, and now I don't remember who. Um, but all right, I'm going to do all of my watering, and then we'll figure out what we're doing for today. We have a few quests that we can potentially go after. So we've got Into the Ocean, which we have been working on recently. We've got the Extractor, which Surya told us about last time, where we can get Kelp Essence, um, which we'll then give to the lab and then they'll help us make higher quality produce. We've got the Temple Offering, which we can work on, and we've got Expanding the Museum. I actually think it wouldn't be a terrible idea for us to try to work on the temple offering, because I know that unlocks fast travel and I feel like that would be nice to have. So maybe we'll run around and see if we can forage a few things that we can take up to the temple. I don't quite remember what all we need, but we can just go find anything we can and go donate it. Or not donate it, I guess it's offering it. This is donating. Um, and as we go, maybe we'll see if we can spot any, um, any bugs or anything that we can catch. Maybe do a little fishing. I think that's a good idea for today. That sounds like sort of a relaxed... Um, chill thing that we can do. Let's ship this turnip while we're here. So I actually have a decent amount of space in my inventory. Maybe drop off my watering can because I know that I'm not going to need it. I'm also not going to need the sword if we're not going into the mine. So let's leave it behind. Yeah. All right. That frees up some space. Uh, maybe we'll stop and uh, deal with this coffer too today and we'll go from there. Let's go do some foraging. Here's a, here's a little snail. Surely snails are not fast. Surely they are easy to capture. Um, and it won't notice me very easily because it's just a little snail. It's a slow little snail. Okay. <laughs> a true nomad carrying its home on its back. All right. All right, I did it. I, ca I caught a bug. I almost said I catched a bug. No. <laughs> no, Brock. No, you almost caught. Well, no, wait, I didn't almost. I did actually catch a bug. Successfully caught a bug. Was there another one behind this tree? There was. All right. All right. We got this. He hasn't noticed me yet. Ah, I ran. <laughs> why did I run? I don't understand why I ran at that bug. I thought when you were holding this down that you sneak, but I, for whatever reason, just took off sprinting. Did I hit another button? No, I don't know what that was, but we caught it. So, you know, we're we're all good. We've caught two bugs. This one's this one. It's pretty, so it feels like it's gonna be a difficult catch. But we'll just we'll just try to sneak in. Can't see it. Oh no! Crap! <laughs> no! Wait, can I just run up to you now? Stop! Stop glitching out! Wait, are you flying away? Are you going? Okay. <laughs> I don't really know what happened. Oh my god, look at this snail's little face. <laughs> look at its cute little face. There's so many snails out today. Oh, hey, Scott. What you doing? 
Ah, I didn't get anything valuable today. But at least I got a good workout in the cavern. People like to get married in spring, don't they? Why would you want to get married with all this pollen in the air? Might as well just put it off. Forever. Huh. <laughs> um, cool. So, Scott has some commitment issues. Noted. Not really considering Scott as a marriage candidate, I don't think. I'm not super vibing with his, uh, his energy, <laughs> his whole deal. I like him. Like, he seems like he'll be somebody that I'll get to be friends with, but not really a marriage candidate, which is shocking for me to say because literally everybody else is a marriage candidate. So, but I drew the line. <laughs> I drew the line with Scott being a non-committal gym bro. You gotta have standards. Shoot. Damn it. <sighs> All right. Well, goodbye, bug. I kind of forgot for a second that I'm supposed to be paying attention for bugs, like be on the lookout for them. So I just sort of sprinted straight at that one instead of attempting to catch it. This part of the island is really cool. I don't think we've really... Ben's van is back here, right? Yeah. We've not really, like, ran around this area too much. It's neat, though. I really like that path that we just came down. But also, how do I get up here? I saw violets, which I don't really need the moment, but I'm gonna go get them anyways, because I can. Because I can and I'm here. <gasps> Ignore me. Ignore me! I'm all the way over here. You can't even see me. Shh. Just, just stay quiet. Just stay... No. Okay, yeah. Fly at me. Yes! <laughs> okay, I... <laughs> So at first I thought this was Puss Moth, which I was like, that's disgusting. But now I see that it's Puss Moth, which... <laughs> Surprisingly fluffy Puss Moth. I... <laughs> Filthy. Chill vibes today, even though I have been the exact opposite of um, providing chill vibes. Because I've been screaming about catching bugs and making fun of the Puss Moth's name. Which is rude of me. Donate the snail. Donate the puss moth. I'm just gonna keep giggling because I'm a child. Oh, we already got that. Okay. A couple more items. Not a whole lot, but we can also sell any bugs that we catch uh, that are left over, which is good because we certainly could always stand to have more money. Although right now, um, nearly 3,000. That's, that's pretty good. Is that another puss moth? <laughs> I'm gonna giggle every time. I'm gonna giggle every time. I am a 15 year old. Uh, but only on the inside. Everything else is, is an old man. Hello, Pablo. Let's process this copper. Ooh, clay vessel. And while we're here, we'll say hello, of course, to my, um, my good friend, Pablo. How was your first festival? I hope you finally got to meet everyone. The drilling company? Yeah, everyone's talking about it. Yeah, I know. Here, have this tulip. It'll make you feel better. You're welcome. You're welcome, Pablo. We're gonna get married someday. I'm not gonna tell you that. You know, because it seems a little bit desperate and or too forward, but... But, like, we're probably gonna get married someday. You and me. Suki! Hey, girl. Actually, yeah, have a tulip. You thought I would like this? Haha, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's perfect. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Wait, no, sorry, I didn't mean to <laughs> I didn't mean to hit you with a pickaxe. Oh, it's my favorite time of year. Know why? It's time for spring cleaning. Out with the old, in with the new. I love running in spring. It's so nice to hear all the animals again and see all the plants blooming. It gives me more energy to run. I need to do spring cleaning really badly, and I've also been wanting to get back into running recently. Um, I used to be really into running for a hot minute, but then I just, I, I lost it. I just totally lost it. Anyways, Raphael, I'm going back to work after this. <laughs> With that face. Oh, um, I came here for some tacos. I'm not in the mood to cook anything. So that's what they sell here. Ooh, yeah, I don't think I ever noticed the fact that there is a huge, um, are those cherries? cherries up here. Um, I'm also having tacos today, but I am making them myself. I've got uh, barbacoa 
uh, going in the crock pot, which I am very much looking forward to. It smells so good. And I think it's gonna be really delicious. I did have to like, I don't know if any of you are like this, um, but I had to get it ready first thing in the morning. And there was something about having to deal with raw meat, like first thing in the morning that just puts me off so much. Okay, let's catch this while we're here. Um, so I did not enjoy that part of the process, but the smell is so good. No, wait, why don't, wait, wait, no. I thought I was, didn't turn green. Okay, spring season. Okay, so we can donate that and, oh, we already gave one of those. Okay, wait, did I give a, did I give a really good wasabi? Uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, this is why we planted the daisies. Okay, I remember now, daisies, carrots, and turnips. And I think we have, oh, I sold a turnip this morning. Uh, way to go. Okay, so we've got, we've got to do turnips, carrots, and a daisy. We can do that. We can totally do that. And then, oh, and we have a lot of this too that we just need to bring up with us. So we'll remember to do that maybe tomorrow. That'll be, that'll be a task that we can tackle. Trash can, trash. Oh no, that fills my inventory too, doesn't it? All right, so we might need to go back and sell a few things. We could also run around and give away a couple of these tulips and talk to some people. I kind of want to go talk to Surya. I want to go talk to, he's at the lab. All right, let's go talk to Surya. Cause I, in the last part, kinda, kinda was like, you know, thinking that maybe Surya is, uh, He's a good candidate. So let's go, let's go give him a flower. And let's get stuck on some equipment in the lab. Hey, Saria. Wait, Saria, take this gift. You're very kind, thank you. <laughs> Look at his blushing face. <laughs> All right, hold on, I'm taking a screenshot. Because that may be the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> that might just be it. You're welcome, Saria. Let's chat. How are you doing, buddy? So, Pufferfish is here. That can't be good, right? In the future, I want to publish more academic articles, or even a book about my findings. I have to remind myself it's one step at a time. I can't rush it, or I might fail altogether. It's the exact same for me and YouTube right now. I gotta remind myself that it is a slow process. But, to those of you who have been here for the process so far, thank you again so much. 23 subscribers as of right now, which I think is amazing. Uh, and over 100 views on all but one of my videos, which I also think is amazing. So again, thank you so, so, so much. Sorry to just interject that in the middle here, but really I'm I'm very appreciative and I think it's going really well so far. So I'm excited to keep going. But anyways, Ling, what have you got to say? I can't believe the very thing I'm trying to fight has moved next door from my lab. I'm speechless, Brock. Little things help our planet too. Bringing home your trash after a beach day is a great start. You can actively prevent the trash from being eaten by turtles or sea mammals that way. Um, I want to stress that point a lot, that small things matter. Obviously, we've got like huge environmental issues that need to be dealt with. We've got a lot of things going on that like individual efforts are not going to be enough to overcome. And we need the government and big corporations to step in and to do their part to help us save our planet. But little things also matter. So doing doing just the little bits that you can, recycling, trying not to use single-use plastics. And what Ling said just then about picking up your trash on the beach, that's, that's huge. I spent um, Easter Sunday morning out on the beach with the dog and I picked up trash as I went. It's kind of a tradition of ours because it's sort of the like beginning of spring and it feels like it's a good, a good time to like do something good for the planet and for myself and to get out like that. Um, and we picked up so much trash along the beach. And this is in the off season. I can't imagine what it gets like when it's busy in the summer. So just something to keep in mind. That's my, that's my soapbox for today. Um, just, just little things really do have an impact and our, our planet really needs our help. So anyways, uh, from Ling, Brock, I wanted to give you this recipe for spring frittata as a little gift. Don't let the name fool you. You can make this any time of the year as long as you have the ingredients. Thanks, Ling. 
I love a frittata. I really do. I love eggs. Always. In general. In any way, shape, or form. Delicious. I love them. My boyfriend Chris does not. <laughs> he really dislikes eggs. Um, so anytime I have a meal where it's just me, there's a good chance I'm going to make eggs. Who? <laughs> Another black phantom ghost fish too. Who keeps throwing away these fish? I just got done talking about how important it is to take care of our environment and there's somebody on this island just like just hucking fish in trash cans. <laughs> oh well, I'll sell it. I think having a new face has been good for Starlet. Fresh perspectives make everything better. And it's wonderful to see that farm flourishing again. You're doing so great. I prefer spring to summer, but if we're talking favorites, it would definitely be winter. It's more bearable working in front of the oven in winter. You're a winter lover. You just moved up my list. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mayor Connor. How's it going? If you want to keep track of people's birthdays, there's a calendar near the community center. Don't worry, I make sure it's updated. <laughs> what just happened? Don't worry, I make sure to update it every season. I admit, shopping can get addictive. Oh no. Mayor Connor has a shopping addiction. The first step is admitting it, Mayor Connor. You're doing great. All right, I don't really know where the calendar is. Was it the thing that he was standing next to, actually? I didn't check that. Hey, Emily. Remember to eat your greens, Brock. The more color on your plate, the better. I sound more and more nosy. I hope you don't think I'm trying to police folks. If Sam stops bringing in supplies from the mainland, maybe more people will start farming again. Oh, you've got more to say. I may talk to him about it, but I don't know if it would be the right call. Probably not. Why not? It is here. I ran around all that time for- I missed Kenny's birthday. I mean, I also missed everyone else's birthday, but I missed Kenny's birthday. I feel horrible. I feel really horrible. Oh, Pablo on the 27th. Okay, everybody. Remember, Pablo's birthday is on the 27th, and he loves tulips, so, like, really easy to do. Really easy to do. Um, can I also just point out that this looks like Scott as a child, <laughs> and then Scott as an adult? I think that's really funny, but... Okay, their birthdays are tomorrow. I don't think I know what Scott likes. Let's let's nab this while we're here. Uh, give trash as a gift? No, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, just, let's just talk. Theo. My throat feels scratchy. Must be from eating too many banana fritters last night. Either that or I'm developing a pollen allergy. Hmm. Oh, Brock, want to hear my new song? I wrote it yesterday. Flowers, you beautiful flowers, as beautiful as the eyes of my love. It's good. It's a bit contrived, but it's good. Hey, Macy. How goes the farming? Is it farmy? It really is. You have no idea. You're in my way. Move, please. What? 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 Macy! What? Wow. Alright. Taco is busy and can't talk right now. Yeah, me too when I'm taking a nap. Um, can we talk about Macy just then? Dear, damn it, no. <laughs> Macy just hurt my feelings. Is it, um, wait, can I still catch you? I sure can. I sure can catch you. Fond of rocks and logs, a ground beetle. Let's go donate that while we're at it. If we can still get into the museum. Seriously though, like, Macy hurt my like real life feelings. That that video game character just hurt my IRL feelings. And I don't know how to I don't know how to process that. All right, bedtime. We've done enough for today. We probably made a lot of money too, which is good. And tomorrow is a, a fresh new day. Okay, new hearts with Ling, Suki, and Surya. Hey, buddy. Suki also, though, I really like her purple hair. No, Brock, you need to stop. You need to stop trying to... <laughs> stop trying to just add everybody to the list. Letter. What do you got? Greetings, Brock. I'd like to run an idea by you about local produce. Meet me at the general store when you have time. Sam. Does that mean that, um... I, I did the same thing that I've done before where I hit exit instead of enter. Um, does that mean that Emily did talk to him? Because I hope so. 
Ooh, these are done. Okay. So we need to take one to the temple as an offering. All right. Daily time. And then off we go. Okay, I decided to harvest all of the daisies because we'll give, we'll donate one to the, donate it, <laughs> offer one to the temple, and then we will um, give the rest away as gifts. So we'll go ahead and take them all. And I got two of the um, replant things that popped up, so I was able to replant a couple seeds. Let's, before the store opens, let's go run down along the beach because we didn't do that yesterday, and let's see. Um, Let's see if there's any good forageables down that way. This is new. Purple cowrie shell. Doesn't look like there's too much else down this way. The trash apparently regenerates. I've just learned that. So we're going to have to keep our eyes open for trash along the beach and maybe come do some more cleanup sometime soon. But for now, we're going to leave it. Because I've got a few other things I want to do today. Did you know I was just about to write a piece on the harms of oil drilling companies? And now one appeared right in our homes. Are you planting any melons on your farm? Oh, right. Melon is a summer crop, isn't it? It is. It is, and it's delicious. Except I'm not a fan. This is controversial, but I'm gonna say it. And if you decide that you're going to unsubscribe from the channel, I get it. I don't like watermelon. It is crunchy styrofoam. <laughs> it's wet. It's wet styrofoam, and I just, I'm not here for it. I like the hot cocoa from the coffee corner. Don't like coffee. You're not looking for seeds here, are you? I don't sell seeds. I wasn't. But it's cute that you like the hot cocoa. The coffee shop opened as you, uh. <laughs> coffee shop opened as usual in winter, but we closed when it got too cold. Thankfully, those days are behind us now. We're open every day, weather permitting, that is. I like, I bet, I bet that would be so nice to go down to like a little coffee shop like that and then just go sit on the pier and look out at the ocean and drink your coffee. That sounds lovely. Brock, you've become quite the regular. Working hard at the farm, hmm? Yeah, getting used to it, kind of. How did you know? Yeah, getting used to it. Good, good. I see that you're also getting much use out of the shipping bin. Your shipment is always a huge hit with the town folk. I think we all miss the taste of local produce. Here, let me show you something. This is our import section. Everything on this side is imported. I have to say, it's very expensive to get them here. The shipping costs, taxes, that sort of thing. They add up surprisingly fast. I've done my best to keep prices low. My margins are razor thin, but it's just not enough. Any lower and we'll go under. And this here is our local section. It's so empty and really sad to look at. As soon as I receive your crops, I put them all here, and they're selling like hotcakes, flying off the shelves as it were. It wasn't always like this. Back in the day when my folks were in charge, the whole store used to be stacked top to bottom with local produce. It was something to be proud of, but now I have no choice but to sell imported produce only. I'd love to reopen the local produce section, but need your help to do it. The task is simple. You will need to ship a lot of bronze quality vegetables and fruits. I've jotted the exact amount on this note. And, of course, I will pay extra for this effort. I think extra coins on top of your usual crop commission when the whole order is filled, hmm? Sounds good. Let's get to work. Alright, 50 bronze quality vegetables, 25 bronze quality fruits. That'll take some time, but it seems easy enough, especially if we use more um, fertilizer. Oil, two loaves of bread. They should at least consider having another potluck this summer. Oh, maybe we can have a potluck in fall and winter, too. When people bring their favorite dish for the community to enjoy, the gathering is more meaningful. It has that big family feel. Potlucks are fun. I I love a good potluck. We do them at work sometimes, which is kind of cool. Coral Island is just so beautiful in spring. I'm glad I moved here. Red velvet cakes and at Fish and Sips is so yum. I don't know what I would do if... Why can't I talk today? What's going on here? 
I don't know what I would do if Frank stopped making red velvet cakes. I've tried copying Frank's red velvet cakes many times, but mine are never as good. I hate when that happens. When you taste something so delicious and you're like, you look up a recipe and you're like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make this, and then it's just not, it's just not the same. Oh wait, Zara. Have you met Scott? I see him at the cavern every now and then. I have. I'd have to say spring and fall are the best seasons to hunt for treasure. It isn't too hot and there's enough daylight. They're also just the best seasons in general. Um, I was thinking about bringing up the like necessary supplies or essential supplies, whatever it was called, to the temple when I came up here, and I didn't do that. But we might, we might run back and take care of that today. Uh, donating as much as we can. Although I guess we're not in a huge rush to do that, so we can do it as we're working on this. We'll donate the daisy while we're here, and that's that. Here you go, Zara. Have this daisy. Oh, this is nice. Thanks for sharing it with me. You're welcome, Zara. All right, what do we want to work on today? Got a few options. We could still... <laughs> At this point, I feel like it's got to be a bug, right? That I keep getting ghost fish and starfish out of trash cans just all over Coral Island. Like, at this point, that's not meant to happen that frequently, right? Surely. Surely not meant to happen that frequently. There's a bug. We caught a bug like that before? I don't know. No. No, why did you notice me so soon? Oh gosh, okay, well, that's a super sensitive bug. Never gonna catch that. Never, never. Erica, wait. Wait, take this gift. No, not the trash. Wait, take this. Take. Yes. Aw, you're so sweet. Thanks. You're welcome. What's going on? No, no more gifts. Wait, I just want to talk to you. Erica, please. I always wonder why Bree didn't purchase your grandparents' plot of land. She seems to be at the lookout area all the time, so she clearly enjoys the view from up there. That's good to know. It's a mystery to me because the lady has money, but hey, at least now we have you. Charles does have red hair, but he also colors it red to keep it bright. If you ask me, I say it's because the poor thing wants to keep a bit of brightness in his life. Oh. That's kind of sad, but also, should you be telling me that? I- <laughs> Taco! Who's a good boy? You're a good boy, Taco. We will- <laughs> Maybe we will. That's so hard to say. Go do some diving. Maybe we will. <laughs> what if I did my entire video like that? Would you still watch? If my entire video was overly enunciated like that. Hey, Alice. I don't usually love the color pink, but I make an exception for cherry blossoms. They're just so beautiful. There's something cheerful about the flowers in spring. I know Suki can't get enough of them. Okay, off to diving. And this time, and you're never going to believe this, I actually cleared space in my inventory. I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I can hear that you're applauding for me, and I really appreciate it because you are right that I deserve <laughs> recognition for just how great it is that I managed to do a very simple thing. Anyways, let's clear some trash and see what we find today. Okay, we found one of these. I don't know where it goes, though. Over this way? Alright, so we got our work cut out for us to clear some space here. Alright, hopefully that's as far as it needs to go. Ooh. Very close. So that's number four of five. I wonder if we could manage to get the fifth one today while we're at it. Let's see. All right, take a little break to eat some sap and acorns underwater. Ruin my own immersion. While fully immersed. Get it? Nope, got it. It's a very highbrow, complicated joke. 
I'm starting to think that we're not going to find another one of the solar orbs in this area. There should be, <laughs> as I say that, there it is. All right. I assume that's going to go over this way. Hopefully we've cleared stuff well. Oh, I'll take this kelp along here. Okay, so that's going to open this one. So we definitely need to get rid of this stuff. Stamina is low. But I've got more, more sap and acorns. As always. Always more sap and acorns. Uh, which let's eat couple real quick or just one let's just do one for now because that's all we needed but since we've got a little bit more energy let's clear this out while we're waiting for that to heal the coral and it's probably going to open this for us and that's also five out of five mission completed Visit Ling at the lab. Grab that. Let's move the anchor. Well, maybe let's not move the anchor here because that did not open the way up that way. So maybe we'll put the anchor over this way because the next time we can come down there. Yep, let's do that. Put the anchor here. And then we'll head out. Alright, let's go home. Turn some things in. And then that might be it for today. It doesn't seem like a ton, but I i mean, we did accomplish a major goal, which is good. So this was a pretty short day. So yeah, we'll just head on back. Got a lot of kelp now, so we should build that extractor sometime soon. And that's it. Another day in the books. Okay, we leveled up our farming. New craftables, mason jar, hydro one, makeshift floor tile, and a makeshift arch. Cool. And we got a heart with Sam. Nice. On to the next. I would kill for a day of rain in this game. Sprout, it looks like you're ready for this now. This here is a basic sprinkler. Place it on a field and it'll water some... <laughs> I really can't talk today. I don't know what it is. Place it on the field and it'll water some of your crops. The best part, you can craft as many of these as you'd like, provided you have the materials. Jeff Smith of the Farmer's Guild. Um... So I know that I have the sprinkler recipe that I can make this. I can craft them. Um, I haven't yet because I figure whenever summer rolls around and we're redoing crops, that's when we will um, we'll put sprinklers down. We'll maybe do some fencing. We'll really take some time to make the farm look good. So if you have been screaming at me to uh, go ahead and start using those because I'm constantly complaining about the fact that I have to water so much stuff, I understand. <laughs> I hear you. I do. But I, uh, I'm holding off. Okay, the lab is closed today, so we can't go turn in that quest just yet. So maybe today's a good day to just sort of run around, do some more foraging, some more bug catching. Actually, maybe we should go fishing today too. That's a good idea. Go fishing, do a little foraging, talk to some people. Yeah, I think another another sort of chill day sounds like a good idea. And we'll go turn in this turnip at the temple. Actually, let's go back and grab some of the things that I know that we need to turn in at the temple as well for that essential resources one. Let's do that too while we're at it. All right, we got what we need. So let's run to the temple, turn some things in, and then we'll go about the rest of our day in chill, peace, doing some gathering, some fishing, some chatting with people, a little bit of gift giving. Yeah, sounds like a good day. In fact, let's start our gift giving with Leah. Aw. Thanks, Brock. You're so sweet. I want to believe you mean that. Is this is this your spring look? How country. <laughs> Leah is ignoring you. You just told me I was so sweet. I, you literally just did. Now you're gonna just ignore me? That's rude. I mean, it's Leah, so it's obviously rude. <laughs> Okay, so here we're going to turn in the turnip. Oh yeah, I need to go to the store to see about carrots. 
We're gonna turn in that, that, and that. Oh, I do have enough fiber. Okay, and it's five of each of those. All right, fiber and the seeds. Let's go to the store before I forget and get some carrots so that we can get those started today. Theo, would you like a flower? Let's give you a daisy. Great, thank you. You're welcome. How's it going today, bud? One of these days I'll go fishing at your farm. I'm interested in surveying the area to see what kinds of fish swim there. Not today, though. Maybe when the water is a bit cooler. Come by anytime. I have not fished on my farm at all so far. <laughs> I should probably do that, actually. It seems like a convenient place to fish. Hey, Sam. Shop. I want carrot seeds. We'll take... 12 of them. I'm probably not going to plant that many, but we'll do it anyways. I'm going to get 15 more. Those. We'll grab... 9 more of the potatoes. Alright. Bunch more seeds. So maybe that's what we should be doing today, actually, is replanting the farm. Uh, instead of doing fishing. We could fish on the farm, actually, since I just said that I should try fishing there. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll head back. Oh, everyone's having a yoga class. <laughs> Taco, you're doing yoga too? <laughs> oh, and Leah's leading it. In her dress. How's it going, Leah? I don't mind the cold weather and stuff, but nothing, and I mean nothing, beats eating outdoors. But it's much better in spring than in the middle of an ice-cold winter afternoon, of course. People here can get all over your business, right? Everyone keeps talking about poor Charles this, poor Charles that. Leave the man alone, people. I agree. I agree. I was told about his hair color situation and, and felt weird about it. It's very bright out lately. It's the spring sun. It's waking up again. Spring is when retailers like myself get new clothes catalogs. Spring and fall, actually. I don't know what to make of him. I mean, granted, I've not really talked to him much at all. Like, I think that's maybe the second or third time that I've talked to him. But I just don't know what to make of him. He seems... not great. <laughs> that's mean, but he seems not great. Alright, a bunch of stuff planted, watered in, ready to go. Fill up our watering can real quick, and then let's try, let's try fishing here in our little pond see what we catch. Okay, here comes the fish. Come on. Hey, a shrimp. <laughs> that was one Heck of a fight for a shrimp. I'll tell you what, that shrimp did not want to be caught, but too bad. I win. And it's a new one, so we can donate it to the museum. Okay, next one. Seems like an easy one. Watch it be trash. A coffer. I'll take a coffer. I did not mean to throw that back out, but eh. we'll see if anything bites. Another flyer? I'm always suspicious when it's too easy to reel them in, but I have also learned what you're supposed to do when they start to get all crazy. Let go of the mouse button. Um, maybe this one will do it so I can talk through it. Yeah, so as it gets crazy, I just sort of let go of that. But I keep clicking every once in a while. You might be able to hear it um, so that I don't lose too much bar. Come on. Come on. And in. Tilapia. Common freshwater fish. Oh, tilapia is delicious. But this one is not destined for my kitchen. It's destined for a museum. Okay, this one's too easy to reel in. It's going to be trash or a flyer. It's trash. Oh. This one is not going to be trash. This one's tricky. No, come on. I'll cut it out. Another shrimp. They really put up so much of a fight, these shrimp. All right, let's try to fish one more and then we will head off to the um, to the museum. This looks like a big boy. No, 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 
No, no, no. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Another shrimp. Okay. Well, I can go answer Theo's question for what kind of fish are um, on my farm. Because it's shrimp. It's all shrimp. Shrimp and trash. Let's talk to Luke. We haven't said hello to Luke very often. There are plenty of flowers around. You can find tulips and violets around the lake if that's your thing. So I take it it's not your thing. How do you even choose which ones to pick? Spring happens to be the beginning of the life cycle of electronics, like it is for many things in life and nature. It's when new things are introduced to the market. Exciting time for farmers too, I suppose, with the going back to farming and whatnot. I'm gonna give you this daisy. Whoa, this feels special. Thanks. You're welcome. I actually wasn't sure if you were going to like flowers or not, but I'm glad that you do. I wonder if they have different reactions based on the quality, because that was a bronze star one. Um, so I wonder if you give like higher quality gifts, if their reactions are different. It seems really possible. The developers of this game have done such a good job at um, providing unique dialogue opportunities. I bet the... But they're closed. Yeah, they're closed. <clears throat> In fact, yeah, yeah, they're closed. Where's Pablo at? I feel like we should go say hello to Pablo. There's so many people that we like. Excuse me, I had to cough for a second. There's so many people that we haven't. He's down on the beach. We'll go say hi. That we haven't really talked to. I have. I started that sentence 800 times, and then I interrupted myself to tell you that I started that sentence 800 times, even though you're probably painfully aware that I started that sentence 800 times, and now I'm going to have to start it again, and I don't even remember what I was saying, if I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, there are so many people that we've not talked with, really, um, that we should get to know more, for sure. Hmm? Oh, yes, we make weapons and armor for monster slaying, and we sell them, of course. Okay. Don't worry about our weapons breaking in the middle of combat. They're well made. That's good to know. Have you read up on any? Of, have you read up on any of the local folklore? Good stuff. Whether you believe it or not, I think I like that he's a little bit superstitious. Have this flower. You've already given this person two gifts. Darn it, Pablo. Accept more gifts from me. Me? I guess I've never thought about it. I see no reason why those things couldn't be true. Oh, Pablo, are you a bit of a conspiracy theorist? Not sure how I feel about that. Hey, Saria. The hot spring near our house is sometimes visited by wildlife like monkeys, especially in the colder seasons like now, but I read somewhere they go there to relax rather than keep warm. Their thick coats keep them plenty warm. That's cool. Aren't there like like snow monkeys of some kind that like go to hot springs? And there's like great videos and pictures of them like sitting in hot springs with snow all through their fur on their heads. I think it's interesting. My parents never asked too much of me, just to make sure I remember to share what I have with the community. I know it isn't for everybody, but that's how I was brought up. We need to take care of each other. I agree. Surya, you're growing on me. I'll be honest. Hey, kid. I wonder what Dad's gonna get me for my birthday. I hope it's the new boy detective shirt. <laughs> I wish the ocean would warm up faster so I can go swimming. It's still cold from winter. It'll happen fast. It always gets hot too fast. There's a little worm. Past, I've like run past a, a bug. No, no. Why? Why are you so sensitive? You're a little worm. You're just like a little centipede. Oh God, I'm running again. Okay. Eh, okay. No, that's not going to happen. But now it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Striped garden caterpillar makes its home in gardens. As the name implies. All right. Well, let's run back to the museum instead of going that way. Hey, Raj. And we'll drop off this worm. We'll give them a little caterpillar. And then we'll go home and we'll call it a day, both for this particular day. <laughs> we'll call it a day for this day. Oh, gosh. My brain is breaking, which is also why we're going to call it a day on this part. All right, off to bed. Day 13 done. As always, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. And for the likes, the comments, subscribing to the channel, I appreciate absolutely all of it. Um, and those of you who have gotten to like chat with a little bit in the comments, it's been super nice to get to, to get to talk to you. 
Um, if you've never commented on my videos before, but you watched some of them, um, feel free to throw a comment below for me, even if it's just to say hello, introduce yourself to me. I'm really interested in the idea of building a community of people who enjoy cozy games, wholesome games, story-driven games, RPGs, um, and just all of us being able to come together and, and geek out about things like this. So drop down in the comments below and just introduce yourself, say hello, tell me some of the games that you like a lot. Like, what are your favorite games of all time? I'm really, I'm genuinely interested to know what some of your favorite games are. Um, and maybe someday I'll do a little video where I talk about some of my favorite games of all time. Um, I feel like my number one might be a little bit surprising to, based on just what you've seen on the channel so far. But anyways, um, again, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful weekend. I will be back again really soon with another video. And until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you again next time. Bye, everybody.